Machu Picchu is officially dated to the 1400s, built by the Inca. Case closed, at least on paper, except the stones don't all tell the same story. If you look closely, Machu Picchu is built in two very different styles. Upper walls use smaller, uniform blocks, impressive, but familiar. Below them, the foundations change completely. Massive polygonal stones, perfectly interlocking, no mortar, engineered to survive earthquakes in a major fault zone. Some researchers, including Graham Hancock, argue this points to more than one construction phase, not just different purposes, but different eras. The idea is not that the Inca were incapable, they were exceptional builders. The argument is that they inherited something older and rebuilt on top of it. The same precision foundation stonework appears across the Andes at Machu Picchu, Sacsayhuaman, Ollantaytambo. Same geometry, same stress resistance, same unanswered questions. Then there's the surface finish. Some stones appear unusually smooth, almost vitrified. Mainstream archaeology explains this as abrasion, patience, and skill. Others suggest lost techniques like stone softening or early geopolymer methods. There is no proof of advanced ancient machines. That matters. But there is also no proof that all this knowledge originated with the Inca. Radiocarbon dating tells us when people lived there. It does not date the stones themselves. So the real question isn't, did they have advanced technology? It's whether we are certain the civilization we credit was the first to build what we see. And that question is still open.